Hi students, welcome to the section of English test and welcome to the new playlist on the design of uh, steel, uh, steel structures uh, wherein in today's class we shall see the uh, strength of tension members with the welded connections like this right even we shall see the design of tension member splice right a splice a splice plate like this right whereas in the previous class we have seen the design uh, strength of tension members <coughs> design tensile strength of angle sections like this right i hope you enjoyed the discussions there and if you have really enjoyed the discussion don't forget to click like uh, share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel now uh, let's see the brief profile of uh, mine i dr d rupesh kumar has obtained my btech civil engineering from nagar university in 1994 mtech structural engineering from jain to hyderabad in 2000 and phd structural engineering from jain to hyderabad in 2009 Presently, I am working as Associate Professor in Department of Civil Engineering, University College of Engineering, Hyderabad, Telangana University, Osmania University. I have an experience of 27 years, of which 7 years is in industry <coughs> and 20 years is in teaching, as well as research, research at graduate and postgraduate levels. Right? My research areas include reinforced cement concrete designs, steel designs, structural analysis, point element analysis, earthquake engineering, bridge engineering. Structural optimization. I have published 45 research papers in international as well as national journals and conferences. Organized three international conferences and 11 national conferences workshops. Attended 43 workshops. Visited two countries. Delivered 13 guest lectures. Edited two books. And supervising 14 PhD scholars and supervised 30 ME theses. I am actively involved. in various consultancy festivals that are offered by the department and completed over 750 plus design proof checks and 150 plus designs of reinforced cement concrete steel composite low rise high rise multi stored buildings as well as that of the road and rail bridges right now let us see uh, uh, what we will be discussing in uh, 12th class student right this is how in brief right we shall be uh, seeing the designs of the bolted connection uh, sorry uh, Uh, the splice tension member splice right tension member splice like this right tension member splice looks akin to the top of the cover plates akin to the top of the cover plates right like this right and for this how this designs will be doing right or even we can see right uh, all these are the splice plates right splice plates between the two main components right which are lo looking akin to the top of the co cover plates cover plates right now also uh, um, also Uh, let us see uh, right L let us see this right therefore we shall be seeing uh, this is how the uh, top plan view of the splice plate right which is connecting between the two steel plates two steel plates right uh, like this right two steel plates are connected uh, connected by means of a splice plate a splice plate like this right a splice plate right? like this like this in front elevation as well as in um, front elevation as well as the cross section right cross section right then this is how we shall be designing as well as uh, this is how the another uh, 3d schematic view of the same 3d right the connected ones of the bolts and also the uh, splicing between the tension members can also be done uh, either by the uh, plates either by plates like this are 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 by means of the angles the angles right even angles may also be used right therefore these angles may be used right therefore uh, that is how even now we can see that here it is connected by means of the plates right actually this is a flange a flange plate right uh, and this is that of the web right web is now connected by means of this angle right angle and right? this is subjected to a uh, tension force actually this is a beam student right now likewise now i'm showing a real photograph of this one right? uh, where uh, the tension member is provided with a splice plate at the top as well as an angle on the side on the side right now like this right are will also be uh, uh, discussing uh, discussing about a um, welded welded uh, tension member welded tension member subjected to tension force right the proper design is welded tension member welded tension member subjected to tensile force right this problem also will be examined soon right now this is all the weld on all the three sides right 
and this is how just now showed that right this is a schematic right on the preset the weld will be there there will be designing we will be finding out that design tensile strength of this um, tension member right with this weld right or like this another schematic and this schematic is also shown right however here two plates are uh, shown on either side of the gusset plate however we will be designing only with one one uh, one plate only like this right two plates are sh uh, shown in the schematic however i will be designing only with one one plate right it is a material right now this is of the different designs will be, uh, what will be uh, uh, um, doing in this class student right now let's see what we'll be doing right this is how the very first problem student it is the design in this problem we'll be finding out the design tensile strength of <coughs> welded single angle section welded single angle section right now let us see the problem right Co uh, compute the tensile strength of angle isa 150 by 115 by 8 mm 8 mm of fe 410 grade steel with uh, a gazette plate as shown in the figure as shown in the figure right now this is how the uh, figure is given right here uh, there is a gazette plate gazette plate is shown right um, uh, generally the thickness of the gazette plate should be uh, more than the thickness of this angle here the thickness of the angle is equal to 8 mm student now let us see what is the given data right therefore the, the size of the angle size of the angle is given as the connected leg 150 mm right 150 mm this is a 150 150 mm whereas the outstanding leg is 115 mm 115 mm whereas this thickness is equal to 8 mm 8 mm right and this is connected by means of the weld like this right even on the top side as well as on the side as well as at the bottom right at the bottom the overlap is equal to 60 mm however the side on the side it is 150 mm because that longer leg is 150 mm and also the overlap on the top is equal to 140 mm that is of the given data student right the given data and <clears throat> once we see this given data student then uh, let us see uh, let us see the uh, gross area from sp61 sp61 1964 page number 14 student table 4 now let me go to that uh, um, uh, um, table 4 page number 14 of sp61 sp61 so that i'll uh, check what is that area of this isa 150 by 115 by 8 115 by 8 now this is a 150 by 115 by 8 mm it is having 20.58 20.58 20 mm uh, centimeter square centimeter square right that's why i'm just no noting down that area area because there is a gross area student right therefore 20.58 centimeter square or 2058 mm square from this steel table or sp61 special publications one right or there is what called isa structural engineers handbook one right either of the two is true right and once i note down that gross area gross area however please make a note that because the welding is done here right gross area itself is the net area of this um, section section right therefore no deductions will be there gross area itself is a net area hence if i go to this is 800 2007 class 6.2 page number 32 page number 32 let me just revisit that right page number 32 this is how the, i am there in that page number uh, 32 student right this is uh, uh, design of tension members from is 800 2007 design of tension members i am doing this design right wherein t shall be less than uh, td uh, therefore the design strength of the member td shall be the least of the three one right one is uh, uh, course says that uh, td is the lowest of the design strength due to one yielding of the gross cross section tdg two rupture strength of the critical section tdn 3 block shear tdb given by class 6.2.6.3 and 6.4 respectively right now let us say this formula right um, 6.2 design strength due to yielding of gross cross, gross cross section tdg is equal to ag fi divided by uh, gamma m naught therefore using this uh, now let, let me substitute the numeric values because already i told that uh, because it is welded the gross area itself is the net area however now substitute this uh, gross area is equal to 2058 multiplied by 250 divided by 
that will be 10 to the power 3. It now uh, works out 467.7 kilo Newton, right? Now let me also see the next quarter uh, provision from IS 800 student right? It says that uh, design strength due to rupture of the critical section. Now I do have I do have a uh, um, an angle an angle connected to connected to one side of a gusset plate connected to one side of a gusset plate. Therefore le let me check. However, the formulae are available one for plates. I will not check that plate. Uh, in the next problem, we shall see that, right? Whereas uh, I do have the second one is the threaded uh, rods. I don't have that now. Uh, now, this one is a single angle connected to one side of a gadget plate. Therefore, in such a case, uh, the rupture strength of an angle connected through one leg is affected by the shear lag, right? Affected by shear lag. Therefore, TDR is equal to 0.9 ANC if you do it by gamma M1 plus beta AG0 FI divided by gamma M0, where beta is equal to 1.4 minus 0 0.076 W by T FI divided by FU BS divided by LC. It should be less than or equal to FU gamma M0 divided by FI gamma M1. It should be greater than or equal to 0.7, where BS is the shear lag width and W is outstand lag width as shown in this figure 6, right? That is how outstand right uh, leg width however we are there in welding uh, welded connection therefore this outstand leg itself is w w right um, that is how uh, the and lc is the length of that end connection that is the distance between the outermost bolts in the end joint measured along the load direction along the load direction right or the length of the weld along the load direction right and therefore uh, once we examine these uh, formula student let us uh, substitute the numeric values Right. Therefore, now uh, design uh, st uh, strength on the net section, right, or uh, due to rupture, rupture of the net section. Now uh, we saw just now this formula. Therefore, where A and C is the net area of this connected leg. However, uh, we don't have any direction. Therefore, 150 minus 8 by 2 itself 150, which is connected to uh, this gusset plate itself is 150, 150. From that only half the thickness, this 8 by 2 will be directed. There, there are no directions as if in the case of the bolted connection like this, right? There are no directions in the, as if in the case of bolted connection, right? No directions for this bolt holes like this. No, no directions for bolt holes like this, right? Now that multiple by thickness, therefore that works out say 1168 is the connected leg of this um, uh, net area of this connected leg, connected leg, right? Similarly, that of the gross area of the outstanding leg, that of this outstanding leg is equal to outstanding leg uh, width is equal to 115 minus 8 by 2. That multiple by this, this thickness 8 mm. It works out say uh, 888 mm square, mm square, right? Now. Also from this figure now we can see that uh, uh, BS, BS is equal to outstanding leg of the uh, outstanding leg length. From this uh, figure we do have that itself is outstanding leg itself is 115 mm right and also and also yeah, where LC is the length of the weld along the low direction. Now what is given the problem? Right, let us see that given data student right? however um, uh, at the top at the top that uh, uh, weld weld length is equal to 140 mm right 140 mm whereas at the bottom it is 60 mm therefore generally the load right uh, these 140 and 60 mm are calculated keeping in with the load transmission by uh, the part above the cg as well as the part below the cg therefore now let us see this 140 mm right? hence uh, add all this uh, length of this connection right lc is equal to 140 mm right 140 mm now substituting all these numeric values in this formula, now I would have beta is equal to 1.4 minus 0 0.076 multiplied by 115 divided by 8 multiplied by 250 divided by 410 multiplied by 115 divided by 140 because BS is equal to 115 divided by LC is equal to 140, 140, right? And therefore, now it works out say a value beta is equal to 0.853, it is 85.3 percentage. However, however. Now the code says that uh, this uh, value should be less than or equal to this uh, ratio of the permissible stresses uh, 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 during ultimate stress to that of the uh, yielding, yielding, right? Therefore, it now works out F divided by gamma uh, M1 divided by F I divided by gamma M0. Therefore, that ratio is equal to 410 divided by 250 
1.2 to 1.1 divided by 1.25. It works out 1.44. You just remember this as a, um, a numeric value student, right? This ratio will always be 1.44 for if you ultimate uh, strength of the steel as 410, 410 Newton per mm square, right? Now, next. However, this, uh, this beta value should be greater than or equal to 0 0.7. Therefore, now I would have this 0.853 is greater than 0 0.7, it is okay. And also this 0 0.853 is less than 1.44. Therefore, this beta actual value is within this lower bound to upper bound value. Hence, it is okay, acceptable. If it, if it already is scratching that lower bound or upper bound, you restrict it to that lower or upper bound appropriately. Therefore, beta is equal to 0 0.85. 0 0.85 is the value now. It is acceptable by the code, right? Now, substituting these, now we'll get the design strength of this uh, uh, due to rupture on, on the critical section, on the net section is equal to 0.9 multiplied by 116 multiplied by 410 divided by 1.25 divided by 10.43 plus 0.85 multiplied by 888 multiplied by 250 divided by 1.1 10.43. It works out 516.34 kilo newton, kilo newton after substitution into this formula, into this formula, right? Now, that formula we already uh, seen from uh, IS 800 also, right? Now, the third third criteria is the block shear criteria. Now, let's see that block shear criteria also, formula also should attend. Now, the code says, the code says that uh, the design strength due to block shear. However, I do have, um, I do have the, for bolted connection as well as for the uh, welded connection, welded connection, right? The same is the formula, the same is the formula, right? However, you please uh, let us uh, examine this, right? That for block sh uh, shear strength, TDB is given by TDB is equal to AVG FY divided by root 3 gamma M0 plus 0.9 ATN FU divided by gamma M0 or TDB is equal to 0.9 AVN FU divided by root 3 multiplied by gamma M1 plus ATG FY divided by gamma M0. Now let us examine this where AVG, AVN are the minimum gross and net uh, area in shear along bolt line parallel to the external forces respectively 1, 2 and 3, 4, 1, 2 and 3, 4, right? Along, along this 1, 2 and 3, 4 respectively, right? Uh, or along this 1, 2 in this uh, figure 7b and, and where ATG and ATN are the minimum gross and net uh, area in tension, tension from the bolt hole to the toe of the angle or end bolt line perpendicular to the line of the force respectively, right? 2, 3, along 2, 3 as shown in the figure 7b means along this one, right? Now we will see that schematically also once we examine this formula, let us uh, substitute, let us substitute uh, or let us calculate the different numeric values, right? Therefore, I would have I would have uh, uh, the values like this, right? Before I see this, uh, uh, let me show uh, the schematic uh, view of what is a block shear? What is block shear student? Right? It is like this, right? Therefore, here uh, this entire uh, uh, entire block will come out of due to one. This is how the plate is splitting. The plate is splitting, right? And also simultaneously the plate is shearing, shearing simultaneously, right? This is what called the block shear criteria, right? Or this is like this, right? Therefore, here the plate is splitting or tension failure of this um, uh, line as well as shear failure of these lines, right? Therefore, this is what called combined action of these two, tension as well as shearing uh, actions is what called block shear crater because of which this entire block will come out of this. However, however now let us examine uh, even there is another, another schematic, schematic, right? This block will come out of this, come out of this, right? Now, once we examine this, now let us see the uh, how it is applicable for the welded connection. For welded connection, therefore, where AVG is a gross area in shear, right? And also from the schematic, what we have is in the direction parallel to this one, two horizontal, right? Now I will have this numbering one, right? Two, three, and four. Therefore, along uh, in the direction parallel to one, two length is. 140 mm at the top as well as uh, at the bottom uh, at the bottom along the uh, the length along parallel to this uh, line right 3 4 l at the bottom is 60 mm 60 mm right 
and now i have avg avg is equal to the gross uh, area in shear in shear is equal to 140 uh, you please see that this is um, 140 plus 60 mm right both right both right this 140 as well as 1 uh, plus 60 will shear off right like this will shear off right whereas while it is shearing off right here this weld which is vertical weld will try to fail in in tension tension plate area right actually now that tension for the weld itself is the shearing action right shearing action therefore this is what called the block shear plate area for the welded connection that is the difference right that is the difference right Inside of 140 plus 60 multiplied by this 8, 8. Therefore, there is how the gross area in shear is equal to 600 mm square. Similarly, uh, here because no bolt uh, bolts are provided like this, where I do have the openings like this, right? If at all bolts are provided, then I do have the bolt holes. Therefore, in such a case, uh, this net area is quite different from that of this gross area. However, here it is done using. Uh, the connection is done using welding therefore AVN right uh, the net area itself is gross area AVN is equal to AVG right AVG and similarly ATG it is in T means in tension V for shear shear means along 1 to R3 4 whereas T means in the uh, vertical direction right ATG is the minimum gross area in tension along this line 2 3 right along this line 2 3 However, along the line 2, 3, we do know that uh, 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 weld, weld length, weld length is equal to 150 mm, weld length is equal to 150 mm like this, therefore, we that and substitute here, right, therefore, 150 multiplied by 8, now it works out 1200 mm, per, therefore, even net area, ATN itself is ATG, ATG, therefore, once I know this, uh, now let me substitute in this formula, therefore, ATB in Block shear criteria is for the first formula AVG FI divided by root 3 gamma m0 plus 0 0.9 0 0.9 uh, ATN FU divided by gamma m1 substituting the numeric values now we get 600 multiplied by 250 divided by root 3 multiplied by 1.1 10 to power 3 plus 0 0.9 1200 multiplied by 410 divided by 1.25 multiplied by 10 to power 3 therefore this works out 375.23 kilo newton from one formula. Similarly, I have another formula student right? like this right? where TDB is given to 0.9 AVN FI divided by root 3 gamma M1 plus ATG FI divided by gamma M0. Therefore, substituting the numerical values 0.9 multiplied by uh, 600 multiplied by 410 divided by root 3 1.25 divided by 10 to power 3 plus 200 multiplied by 250 divided by 1.1 divided by 10 to power 3. It works out say 545.42 kilo newton. However, now the block shear strength is 1, 375.23 and the second one is 545.42 out of this which is minimum therefore 345 this 345 will uh, be the least therefore this is what the block shear strength in the third criteria in the third criteria therefore now the design tensile strength of this welded, welded um, uh, angle connection is the least of the one TDG, right? TDG is equal to 467.70, right? The tensile strength of the gross cross section 2 TDN, uh, design tensile strength uh, due to rupture on the net section or critical section is equal to 516.34, 3 TDB, right? Block shear, uh, block shear tension block shear tensile strength is equal to 375 just now we have seen 375.23 out of all these 375.23 is the minimum therefore this ang this angle when connected to one side of one side of a gusset plate gusset plate and welded using 140 mm 150 mm and at the bottom that uh, uh, 60 mm can resist can resist a maximum tension of maximum tension of 375.23 kilo newton 375.23 kilo newton let us say the problem it is given that check the adequacy uh, if uh, a factor load of 500 kilo newton is applied now the answer is that here because a uh, factor load of 500 kilo newton is applied however this 
section can at maximum resist 375.23 beyond which it will fail in block share criteria block share criteria however here in this case the block share failure means this total angle will be totally detached from from the uh, plate plate right therefore angle section will be quite different and the uh, the plate uh, the gusset plate section will be quite different right that is how the failure can happen in the uh, block share criteria right? that is how now i will have the result as 375.23 kilo newton at maximum it can resist not more than this one right now i hope you understood this uh, problem student right then if you understood now let us move to the top the second problem second problem right where in this uh, second problem what we'll try to do what we'll try to do is here uh, this is a problem of design of tension member splice with plate with the plate right therefore now let us see the data student right? design a splice design a splice for tension member for tension member right um, uh, before i go go to this problem right uh, let me show right this this problem just now we have seen student right this uh, this problem just now we have seen right we have just calculated the uh, tensile carrying capacity worked out some approximately 375 kilonewton for this and uh, this plate this plate which was connected to the gusset plate gusset plate right now let us uh, examine this second problem right i want to design a splice plate a splice plate right connecting between the two uh, steel plates like this right are between these two uh, plates i want to have a connection right now you can see at the bottom right two two plates are connected connected by means of a uh, an angle as well as the splice splice plate at the top right at the splice plate at the top right that is why i want to do this design this design let us see the numerical problem student then you will understand right uh, the design is splice uh, splice for tension member of 140 mm by 10 mm 10 mm and 250 mm by 14 mm the member is subjected to a factored tensile force a factored tensile force of 300 kilo newton 300 kilo newton right assume fe 410 grade steel and use use 20 mm dia bolts of 4.6 grade bolts means ordinary black bolts right ordinary black bolts right that is how the data given to right we will have now let us see the given data right what is given is 160 mm 160 mm by 10 mm thick by 10 mm thick right 160 mm by 10 mm thick plate is there right and also another plate of 250 mm right this width is equal to 250 mm and its thickness is equal to 14 mm more thickness is there right more thickness more thickness right like this 14 mm right 14 mm this is just 10 mm this is 14 mm right that is all they are connected uh, flushing one one with the other right but joint but joint not lab joint but joint therefore once they are connected by means of but joint then obviously we must provide a cover plate a cover plate like this right therefore now that cover plate itself is now called as a splice plate a splice plate like this previously we have designed in welded connection a cover plate a cover plate therefore now right uh, are even in the case of the bolted connection we have designed right but joint using either one cover plate as well as that of the two cover plates two cover plates therefore now that cover plate is is what now the uh, splice plate the splice plate right now i hope you understood what is the splice plate right then uh, this is how the data given and the load to be transmitted is 300 kilo newton by this right and also if 14 grade steel is given there for fu is equal to 14 newton per square and yield stress ultimate stress is about 14 mpa as well as the yield stress of the steel of the steel is 250 newton per square and uh, that of the bolt data student nominal diameter of the bolt is given as 20 mm therefore from this uh, table is 800 2007 table number 19 page number 73 let me go to the page number 73 right now uh, that is a uh, 73 73 right this is of that uh, page number 73 student where i do have if the bolt is in, uh, diameter is in between 16 to 22 then 
for standard clearance holes, uh, 2 mm is extra. Therefore, now I'll recall this formula, uh, recall that table, and from that now I will have the diameter of this hole, diameter of this hole for 20 mm is equal to 22 mm, 22 mm, 22 mm, right? Now, uh, and also 4.6 is great, ordinary black bolt is given. Therefore, from IH 18 to 2007, table 1, page number 13, I will have the ultimate strength of this bolt. This ordinary black bolt is equal to 400 MPa Newton per mm square, whereas yield stress of this bolt is equal to 400 multiplied by this 4.6.6, right? 400 multiplied by this 0.6 is equal to 240 Newton per mm square, right? 240 Newton per mm square. That is how the schematic is now shown, student, right? This is how this is a 250 mm, 250 mm plate, 250 mm plate of a thickness 14 mm, 14 mm, right? Is uh, transmitting a tension load of 300 kilonewton, and it is connected connected to a one 150 mm sorry 160 mm by 10 mm 10 mm plate 160 mm by 10 mm plate right 160 mm by 10 mm like this right therefore I do have right this this width this width is equal to 250 mm whereas right this width is equal to 250 mm whereas this width is equal to only 160 mm 160 mm right that is how now i need to design now i need to design a uh, splice splice plate a splice plate therefore that is how uh, i am just putting a splice plate at the top right at the top therefore i am showing all in bottom view the front view as well as the 3d view the 3d view right like this right therefore this is how the design will be doing today, right? I hope you understood the 3D view, or, right? Uh, 3D view also, right? Uh, therefore, the, the thickness of this is equal to 10 mm. The thickness of this is equal to 10 mm. Or let me also show uh, schematically, uh, schematically this um, uh, picture, right? Uh, this is how we are trying to do with one, right? Uh, this one, right? This. This splice plate design we are trying to do, right? This is what the splice plate, right? Or let me also show, like this, right? This splice plate I am trying to design, right? Between this first plate of 250 mm and this is of 160 mm, 160 mm, right? Therefore, that is how a joint, a butt joint, right? Therefore, it is like a cover plate only. This splice plate is nothing but a cover plate. Therefore, I want to design this splice plate and how many number of bolts are required. These are the two. Uh, components we need to design are the same is shown now uh, in a 3D view, right? That is how a 250 mm plate is connected by means of uh, to one 160 mm connected by means of this spli splice plate. This blue color is splice plate connected by a number of bolts, a number of bolts that on on either side of this joint. Please make a note, student. Right? Therefore, to the right side of this joint, same uh, 12 uh, nine number of bolts are there, and to the left. To the left of this joint also, nine number of bolts are there in three bolts in three rows, right? That is a uh, design illustration of, of a problem, right? Even now you can see the same on either side of the joint in two rows, four plus four, eight number of bolts are provided on this uh, splice plate, right? Splice plate, right? Now, once we examine this uh, uh, 3D view, now let us see the design student. I hope you understood the 3D view. Then, further should now let us see now uh, you please see that i do have a yeah, yeah, thickness difference is there 12 14 mm minus 10 mm therefore the thickness of the covering uh, sorry the packing plate required is equal to 14 minus 10 is equal to 4 mm 4 mm is that uh, thickness thickness gap thickness gap therefore uh, this this much of small thickness gap is there right 4 mm therefore which will which will be which will be filled by this this filler plate, this green color is the filler plate. Therefore, if I put this filler plate along with that of the main plate, now both the thicknesses are matching. Both the thicknesses are matching, right? Over which, over which, what now will provide is a, a splice plate like this, a splice plate, right? Like this. Therefore, that is of the front elevation, front elevation, right? Therefore, this is the splice plate we are trying to design this is a uh, filler plate student right this is the main plate of 160 mm this is uh, main plate of 250 mm right that is how in plan in 3d view as well as the side view the side view all the views i am showing right 
and for the result of the design we are trying to do design we are trying to do right then once you understood this uh, now let us see uh, here the thickness of the plate packing plate required is 4 mm however as per this is written in 2007 class 10.3.3.3 uh, let us go to page number 75 student right uh, page number 75 and then in that uh, page number 75 what the board says is that because because the uh, the thick uh, right uh, packing plate right however uh, if this thickness of the packing plate is less than 6 mm then this uh, uh, reduction factor will not come into picture beta pk will not come into picture right if in excess of 6 mm only then beta pk is going to be 1 minus 0 0.0125 multiplied by the thickness of this packing plate however uh, we have the thickness of the pa packing plate is less than 6 mm therefore no correction is needed no reduction is needed for this packing plate packing plate okay right now however now let us see uh, first what we'll do is that uh, this uh, splice plate is similar to that of the cover plate just already told however therefore the bar joint in the tension member is um, uh, is equal to that of the tension member splice itself right tension member splice itself now let us see first of all first of all whether uh, the given section whether the given sections these sections right this 160 by 10 mm as well as this 250 by 40 mm can transmit this much of load of 300 kN or not right if not otherwise we will say that uh, we need to re-design re, uh, the sections right if it is okay then what we will do is then we will design the second component as the design of this um, uh, splice plate as well as the third component is that of the designs of these bolts right these bolts right like this right these bolts right that is of the three uh, components uh, designs will see soon right now let us see first the design tensile strength of the main member first let us check can can these main members can carry 300 kN or not or not right therefore that is what I am trying to do uh, trying to check therefore uh, I do have the thickness, uh, the smaller thickness of the plate will fail first out of these, right? Therefore, out of this 14, 14 mm as well as this 10 mm, therefore, this 10 mm plate fail, will fail first. Therefore, now the tensile strength of uh, this smaller thick plate will only be calculated, right? Will only be calculated. Therefore, AG, AG, gross area of this bigger plate is equal to uh, 250 multiplied by 14. Whereas that of the uh, gross uh, area of this smaller plate, right? So smaller thickness plate is equal to 160 multiplied by 10, 1600 mm square. Therefore, this 1600 mm square will fail rather than that of this, rather than that of this um, 3500, 3500 mm square. Almost uh, roughly double, double that area. Therefore, that will not fail first, right? Now, just now we have seen this as per this class 2007, uh, class 6.2, IS 800 2007 from page number 32 from page number 32 let me go to that uh, page number 32 a quick right? therefore uh, that uh, 32 32 right um, that and then that uh, page number 32 right therefore where uh, i do have this uh, what is tdg right design strength due to yielding of the gross section is given by ag fi divided by gamma m not just now we also see in the previous problem therefore substituting the numeric values now i'll get uh, right uh, this result as say 1600 multiplied by because 600 is governing multiplied by 250 to 1.1 it works out say 363.63 kilo newton right similarly the design strength of the plate due to rupture at the critical section at the critical section however this is how the um, uh, uh, thicker plate of 14 mm thick right which is connected to a thinner plate of 10 mm, 10 mm along with this packing plate of 4 mm thick, packing plate of 4 mm thick, and these are the packing plates printed of 4 mm thick, right? Therefore, 4 plus 10 is equal to this uh, 14 mm, 14 mm, right? That is of this 14 mm, right? Therefore, it will be connected by means of the bolts, bolts like this, right? Therefore, now I'm uh, 8, I don't know how many number of bolts are required. To start with, I, I'll assume that. Uh, the bolts may be provided in one row to start with, right? It may be provided in um, uh, one row like this, right? Right, like this, right? Therefore, if there is my assumption, right? Or even the bolts may also be provided in two rows, right? 
even if the poles are provided in like this right two rows or one row or one row right obviously right we need to we need to check at the um, both the sections now let us say to start with assuming that only they are provided in one row one one row right therefore in such a case right in such a case now i'll find out with that right like this right out of 160 mm only out of that 160 mm only one direction one direction right one direction of this uh, uh, diameter of this hole only one direction of that that of this diameter of the hole right therefore now it works out the net area of this 160 mm will work out that of this uh, thinner thinner plate this works out 160 minus one uh, whole diameter 22 mm multiplied its thickness is equal to say 1380 mm square 30 mm 80 mm square right now next uh, once we see this now let me go to this uh, class 6.3.1 Page number 32 of IHI 100, 2007 student, page number 32, page number 32, let me go to that page number 32, I will have this page number uh, 32, where uh, we will have this uh, plates, uh, this is the plate that for TDN, design uh, strength due to rupture at the critical section is 0.9 AN F divided by gamma M1, gamma M1, therefore substituting uh, into this, now I will have TDN is equal to 0.9, F u is 410 divided by 1.25. It is like a pair word, right? This is like a pair word multiplied by an 1380 divided by 10 power 3. It works out say 407.37 kilonewton. Kilonewton. Now the third one is that of the uh, block shear criteria. Block shear criteria. Yet I have not decided uh, how many number of bolts are required. Right? Uh, even we don't know the uh, crack pattern. Therefore, now I'll say I'll say that uh, hence. The design tensile strength, design tensile strength is least of that one in gross cross section um, uh, uh, failure, right? TDG, which is 363.63, and that of the uh, rupture of the net cross section is 407.3. Out of these two, out of these two, right? Gross cross section um, yielding of the gross cross section will govern the design, which is. 363.63 kilonewton. However, the 363.63 is greater than the load applied. The tension load applied on the section is 300 300 kilonewton. Therefore, yes, yes, the proposed means the uh, the given the, the given uh, section the given sections of this plate thicker plate as well as thinner plate can transmit 300 kilonewton obviously the thinner plate is transmitting means the thicker plate will obviously take this 300 kilonewton right that is self foundation right now once uh, i check the adequacy of the um, provided sections then what i'll do what i'll do is i'll now calu I, I want to do the uh, bolted connection student right bolted connection therefore next submitting is design of the bolted connections therefore in which case now i want to find out how many number of bolts are required therefore First, what I'll do is I'll try to find out uh, first submitting as the bolt value B, bolt value B. However, uh, for this uh, uh, 20 mm diameter bolt from IS 1367 part 3, uh, 2002 page number 9, now let me go to the page number 9 of this, right? Therefore, for this, uh, I am there in this uh, 1367 part 3, 2002, 2002, for, for this. Uh, uh, 20 mm dia bolt, 20 mm dia bolt, what is that net area? Net area is given as a 245 mm square, therefore this one, right? However, even, even if you don't have access to this code, then what you can do is you can find out net area approximately equal to 0.78 multiplied by gross area, 5 over 4, 20 square. That is 0.78 multiplied by 3.4 is equal to 245 mm square. Is the net area, net area of this bolt, net area of this bolt right therefore once you know this uh, now uh, i'll calculate the bolts are there in double shear now let us see how they are there in double shear right you, you please see that right here right now uh, here this is one plane where where it can right where it can shear off as well as this other plane where the bolt can shear off right these are the two planes where the bolt can shear off right therefore there is even one, two, right? Double, double, right? Even you please see that when packing plate is provided, however, 
the failure will not occur at the intersection of the packing plate with that of the this uh, the 10 mm plate 10 mm plate at this 10 mm plate along with the packing plate will be acting as one unit one, one unit and, and right and, and the failure may occur even at the top or at the bottom therefore these are also there in the right there is a it is there in the top or at the bottom top or bottom therefore there is a these are there in the double shear double shear right now once understood that then let us uh, calculate right uh, from this uh, class 10.3.3 page number 75 of ias 800 let me go to that page number 75 student let me cut page right 75 75 uh, um, therefore i am there in that page number 75 where the shear capacity of the bolt vdsb is given by vn sb divided by gamma mb where vn sb is equal to uh, fu divided by root 3 nn ANB plus NS ASB ASB. Therefore, substituting the numeric values, the numeric values in this formula, I would have right. Uh, uh, it is in double shear. Therefore, NN is equal to two, right? Two multiplied by AN is equal to two forty five multiplied by four ten divided by root three. That will be ten to power three. It works out say for twenty mm in double shear. It is ninety point five two. That you can remember, right? In single shear, forty five point two six kilo newton, right? Now. Next, I want to find out the design strength in bearing or bearing capacity of this bolt. Bearing capacity of this bolt. Therefore, as per this class 10.3.4 from page number 75 of IIS 800, let me let me see this right. Bearing capacity of the bolt. VDPB is given by VNPB divided by gamma MB, where VNPB is equal to nominal bearing strength of the bolt 2.5 kb dTFU, where kb is the smaller of these. Uh, four values e divided by 3 to not p divided by 3 to not minus 0.25 f u divided f u b divided by f u and last one is one one right where t is the summation of the thicknesses thicknesses right therefore once uh, we, we examine this and now let us calculate calculate right therefore now what I am uh, saying right is that right let 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 us go to the uh, data student right let us go to the data. What is the data given? Is a 22 mm dia uh, bolts are given. Therefore, as per this uh, class, 10.2.4.2, page number 74 of IIS 800, IIS 800, IIS 800, the uh, edge distance, the edge distance, right, should be uh, if at all it is punched uh, by punching machine, then this edge distance should be 1.5 times. The uh, diameter of the hole 1.5 multiplied by 22, say 33 mm, 33 mm, right? Therefore, all say 35 mm, right? Similarly, the pitch, the pitch, minimum pitch, right? The distance between these bolt holes is should not less than 2.5 multiplied by nominal dia 20 mm. Therefore, 20, uh, that works out 50 mm, 50 mm. Therefore, now I am assuming these uh, pitch is 50 mm and edge distance, edge distance as Say 35 mm. Therefore, using that, using that, let me calculate. Let me calculate what is this k value? K value. It works out. Say, say the from the first criteria, the first criteria, this uh, result, this result as say uh, k b is equal to e divided by 3 d naught, right? Uh, 33 divided by 3 multiplied by 22.5, right? P divided by 3 d naught minus 0.25. It works out say 0.5. F u b divided by f u. Works out 0.975, and uh, fourth one is one. Therefore, minimum of this is equal to 0.5, 0.5, right? And that is how once uh, KB is equal to 0.5, then I find out VDPB, VDPB by substituting into that uh, formula. Now I'll get 2.5 multiplied by 0.5 multiplied by D, 20 multiplied by T, thickness. Thickness is uh, now I will have a thickness, right? Uh, uh, 10 mm connected to the top. Uh, to the top of uh, 14 mm, right? Therefore, sorry, 10 mm is connected to the top of 14 mm. Out of this, 10 mm will fail first. Therefore, T T for bearing is equal to 10 mm. Therefore, uh, 20 multiplied by 10, 20 multiplied by 10. That right? That uh, sorry, uh, 20 multiplied by 10 uh, multiplied by 410 divided by 1.25. That will be 10 to power 3. It works out 82 kilo newton. Therefore, the bolt value, the bolt value is list of uh, the first result uh, is in shearing criteria 90.52 or in the uh, in the 
bearing criteria 82 therefore out of this the bearing criteria will govern the design which is 82 kN therefore bolt value is equal to 82 hence the uh, number of bolts required n is equal to the tension need to be transmitted is t is equal to 300 kN divided by bolt value however the bolt value is equal to 82 82 therefore 300 divided by 82 it works out say 3.65 now either you can say you can put 4 number of bolts or 5 number of bolts as appropriate now i am proceeding with 5 number of bolts as shown in the figure right as shown in this figure right therefore if you are saying 4 then you provide in 2 rows with 2 2 bolts like this right in 2 rows with 2 2 bolts right like this 2 rows 2 2 bolts right in 2 rows 2 2 bolts right however if you say the 5 bolts means then additional additional one more one more bolt need to be provided separately in addition to this another one more bolt need to be provided here right like this right therefore it is left to you shouldn't either you provide 4 or 5 it is left to you even 4 is also okay but it is better you provide some 25 percentage more right more because there is a packing plate also right and so it, it is better you provide with 5 number of bolts right uh, five number of bolts. Therefore, how I am providing is like this, right? Therefore, here I am providing two 20 m uh, dia bolts. Even here also I am providing two 20 mm dia bolts like this, right? 220. If you see in a plan, it looks 220 mm, 220 mm, right? Whereas here I will be providing only one, one 20 mm dia bolt. Even here I will provide say 220 mm dia bolts. Even here I will provide 220 mm dia bolts. Whereas the last one I will provide only 120 mm dia bolt 120 mm dia bolt right that is how the bolts are decided even their pitch and edge distance is also decided right now once uh, we get the number of bolts then that uh, second part is now over student now i want to design this splice plate i want to design this splice plate right uh, first we have seen whether the section can resist 300 kN Yes, we said that yes, it can resist. If, we, if it can resist, how many number of bolts are required? Five number of bolts we are providing, right? Therefore, the final design is that of the design of this splice plate. Design of this splice plate. Therefore, what should be the thickness and how much of the load um, it need to transmit, right? However, we please see that uh, once uh, two, uh, right? This thinner plate, though it is of thinner plate, right? Even it, it is transmitting 300 kN, right? Therefore, the load path, you please see that, right? This 300 kN, uh, which is transmitted by, uh, transmitted by this thinner plate, need to be transmitted to the splice plate, right? That is how the load path, and that need to be transmitted to the thicker plate. That is how the load path student, right? You just try to understand. Therefore, this splice plate will be subjected to a tension force of equal to that of the load applied on the main members only, right? Load applied on the main members only. Therefore, it shall be designed for 300 kN load, 300 kN load, right? Now, however, now let us see, um, I do have the three sections, three sections, right? Where, where I do have, right? Three sections are there. This is our section 1, 1, section 2, 2, section 3, 3, right? Uh, this is how I will call this as the section 1, 1, where only one direction of the hole is there, only here one, right? This is the section 2, 2, where two bolt holes are there, right? Here the section 3, 3, right? Two bolt holes are there. Therefore, now at 2 and 3, uh, we do have two, two number of bolts. Therefore, either you check either at a 2 or 3. These are the critical sections because, right, compared to that of the one bolt hole, one, one bolt hole like this, right? more two number of bolt holes are to be detected here therefore this is that more critical compared to that of this smaller smaller reduction right where are two reductions are there here right that is a critical section will rupture will rupture right then also understand that uh, now let us see uh, uh, what is the uh, tensile capacity in the rupture as per this class is 800 2000 class 6.3.1 page number 32 now let me go to that page number 32 even the print Previous problem also we have seen that right therefore this is a 32 32 right uh, now i do have this uh, page number 32 right from there from there this uh, 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 due to rupture of that of this plate is tdn is called 0.9 an fu divided by gamma m1 therefore substituting into that uh, formula right i do have right 
left hand side tension 300 it need to transmit this this splice plate need to transmit a 300 kilonewton load from the smaller thickness plate to the thicker plate on the left hand side right therefore is equal to 0.9 uh, fu fu is equal to 410 will be 1.25 multiplied by an you please see that this one however the width of this uh, width of this uh, um, uh, splice plate should be equal to that of the width of this small uh, thinner uh, plate thinner plate thinner plate right because uh, because here the thinner plate is having smaller width let me show this systematically student because this is having a smaller width right like this only a width of 160 mm therefore the splice plate should be of equal width 160 mm like this right 160 mm now you can't provide a splice plate of right 260 mm like this right 260 mm otherwise right what will happen is that the stress concentration will come into picture if you provide one, 160 mm there will be no stress concentration therefore this is how my uh, 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 splice plate splice plate which is connecting this plate main plate on the right hand side to the main plate on the right uh, left hand side this blue part right therefore the width of this splice plate is equal to 160 mm which is equal to the width of the small smaller thickness plate right once the width is decided to render for that width minus two deductions are there at critical section 222 mm right that multiplied by multiplied by two thicknesses two thicknesses right of these um, uh, uh, splice plates right what what i'll try to do is i'll provide the splice plates one at the top as well as one at the bottom like this right one at the top as well as one at the bottom let me just i'm showing the top view right right like this right one at the top this is of student right one at the top one splice plate and also another at the bottom one another at the bottom however in top land it looks like this right top land it looks like look like this right there is a two directions are need to be done two directions need to be done on either side of the joint right therefore this top splice plate and bottom splice plate therefore I am using two splice plates, one top and top, bottom. Therefore, total thickness is equal to two multiplied by thickness of the splice plate. Let TS be the th thickness of the splice plate. Therefore, two thicknesses are being used, two multiplied by TS. Therefore, that is how the net net area of this two splice plates, 160 minus two multiplied by 22 multiplied by two TS, right? That divided by, uh, divided by 1.25 multiplied by 410 multiplied by 0.9. Therefore, so here only unknown is equal to thickness. Thickness is equal to uh, 4.38. However, the thickness should not be less than half the thickness of the thicker plate. However, the thicker plate is thicker plate is 14 mm. Therefore, the splice plates, uh, two splice plates, uh, should be not less than 7 mm because 7 plus 7. Even two splice plates, if they are uh, provided one top and bottom, therefore that itself is numerically equal to the thickness of this thicker plate. Thicker plate. Therefore, that is how that is how uh, these splice plates can transmit a load of 300 kN safely to that of the thicker plate. Thicker plate. Right? Therefore, it cannot be less than half the thickness. If at all we are providing two, if at all you are just providing only one, then 14 mm thickness that's it right directly 14 mm thickness therefore our 4.38 is much less than much less than this uh, 7 mm therefore now what else is or say let us provide a 8 mm thickness of the uh, splice plate and its width is equal to 160 mm 160 mm just now we already see that pitch uh, we provide the bolts at a pitch of 50 mm as well as the edge distance as 35 mm 35 mm now let me show that uh, schematically right uh, this is how I've just done the design. I'm providing, I'm providing right one splice plate at the top of 8 mm thickness as well as one at the bottom 8 mm thickness, right? And and here we are providing two 20 mm diabolds, two 20 mm diabolds in the second row, right? In the third row, one 20 mm, one 20 mm bolt like this, right? That last, last, this last bolt is like this, right? Whereas here I do have two number of bolts, right? Here two number of bolts are there. Even here two number of bolts are there, right? Like this, right? As shown in this figure, as shown in this figure, right? Or like this, right? Or even if you see in the uh, top line, it looks like this, right? Top line, it looks like this, right? Here, therefore, I do have two number of bolts here, right? Even I do have two number of bolts here, right? 
here only one bolt is there at this CG. Here, similarly, here two number of bolts will be there on the either side of the joint end. Even here two number of bolts will be there. Whereas here only one bolt will be there. One bolt will be there along the longitudinal axis of this uh, longitudinal axis of this uh, uh, tension member. Please make a note that the longitudinal axis of the tension member is symmetrical with respect to this width. 160 by 2 matching 80 mm is matching with 125 mm of this, right? That is how the longitudinal axis should be the same, should be the same, right? That is how the, the second problem should right? It, I hope you understood the discussions what we had in today's class, right? What we had in today's class, right? Uh, in, uh, I think uh, now we'll try to uh, conclude the discussions. Uh, we'll try to conclude the discussions, right? If you have uh, enjoyed, enjoyed the discussions, right? what we had in today's class, don't forget to click like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll once again meet in the next class with the design of tension members lag angles part 4 right till then bye bye students